we also need the press to disseminate information and correct information about the agency. The new executive secretary of the Shoe State Health Insurance Scheme, Dr. Akintide Akindele, has stated that the agency under his watch will do all it can to ensure it reaches the people at the grassroots. Akindele said this when they made in Pali with the pressman on Monday in Oshugbo. The former chairman of the Nigerian Medical Association said he's prepared to ensure that more people are enrolled into the scheme, stating that the move is in line with the vision of the government of Senator Demona Deleke for Ocean people. Yes, the illiteracy level is not only in Russia State that is high, or I would say the literacy level is low, is across the, across the country. Now, OHIS has nothing less than two components to it the former sector, the informal sector, and actually also the vulnerables. Now, the, we do not seem to have any problem with the former sector as the law uh, enacting, the law establishing who is made it compulsory for all civil servants to be enrolled. But the problem we have is the acceptance of the insurance scheme by the informal sector. And I would say the level is still very low. Now, one of the things we intend to do is to, and it's going to be with the help of you gentlemen too, is to increase the awareness to the informal sector of the benefits of insurance. We would engage all the associations, organizations, market women association, uh, road transport association, barbers association, mechanic association, everything, and let them know the benefits through your support too of what insurance policy is, especially the health insurance. Dr. Akindile also revealed that the government of Senator Ademola Deleke is working on a package that will ensure all pensioners are enrolled into the scheme at no cost. Just as you have mentioned, the government of Senator Ademola Deleke is also very, very compassionate. And there is a pipe, something in the pipeline to get all pensioners in Ocean registered under the uh, Ocean State Health Insurance Agency, the OSG. Uh, we intend to register all of them as soon as the government gives us the go ahead to do so. And it is going to be at no cost to the pensioners. So they are going to assess free health care services that is going to be serviced by the government. The new executive secretary also spoke on curtailing the excesses of some services providers while retreating that his tenure will accept nothing but quality service delivery. There have been quite a lot of complaints by enrollees, ranging from the fact that there are times that there are secondary delays when they get to the hospital. They don't get attended to on time. Sometimes investigations needed could not be carried out at the facility. Sometimes the drugs needed are not available at the facilities. Sometimes the equipment needed are not available at the facilities. We all know what the economy is like. And our resolution is that all these anomalies, we are going to work together hand in hand with the healthcare providers to alleviate their problems. Where drug is the problem, for instance, if the hospital can budget social amounts for drug, and within 10 days, they have exhausted the drug. Hoshia shall push in the effects. Where they need this drug, they come to us, we will provide the drugs, and find a way of deducting it from their capitation. Though we have been doing that, that will intensify efforts so that at no point will an enrollee go to any facility and there will be a short of drug. Also, if there are equipment, because we know the cost of things now, if there are equipment that the providers are lacking that is mitigating against giving good and quality healthcare, we shall also assist 
and that. Get those equipment for them and find a way of deducting this from the uh, We're going to do everything to support the facilities. And of course, just as I have said, if after doing this, we still find some facilities uh, lacking behind, there will be introduction of sanctions to such uh, facilities so that we can ensure that the populace gets good health. That is the intention and the wish of our executive government, Senator Nuruddin Jackson Adimola Adedeke. He wants good health for all indigenous and non indigenous of Fortune State. And we are opposed to uh, make his uh, ambition a reality. From Oshibu, Modipola Shemin Selling Stevie.